Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today. And this one has come to me from the wonderful people at fgnormal.com. Uh, I am joined today by the little lovely Millie Moo. Uh, she's just sat here. Are you going to say hello, Millie? Hello, Millie. Hello. Are you looking and saying hello? Yes. You are. Are you laughing? <laughs> it's quite a hot day today, so whether she'll stay with us, I'm... Um, not quite sure okay whoops sorry about the wobbly camera there okay so i've got some lovely products to show you some new things that i've not seen before uh, and as i say these have come to me from fgnormal.com there are a lot of special offers on the website at the moment uh if you add five to your basket you will only pay for four so one three yes There's 8% off, which is wonderful, and free shipping on orders over £40, so, wow. Excellent, we love special offers. Uh, obviously, they are just as I'm doing the video at the moment, so do go and check them out uh, whenever you're watching the video and make sure they're still available. But there are usually some really good special offers on, so it's always worth checking. Okay, so we have a, a diamond painting. We have a, ooh, another diamond painting and a little project that's just dying to get out. Look, it, it jumped out on its own. Wow. It wasn't hanging about. It said, right, let me out. I've been in this bag long enough. Oh, and a little extra as well. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> I don't think that was trying to get out. I think it was shoved out by this little teeny tiny frog pen. Oh, let's have a look at this. Okay, so this has got to be the smallest diamond painting pen I've got, but it is just so funny. I just loved him when I saw him. You know, I like my quirky little extra bits when I'm going on websites. Uh, where do I open it? Oh, there it is. Oh, no, it's not. Look, I'm just going to open it with my scissors. I'm not going to faff anymore. I can't be doing with trying to open packets and fight back. <laughs> oh, and we've got some tips with it as well. Excellent. Okay, so yeah, this was just 99 pence. And I just thought, oh, I've got to have that look at that little expression. Do, 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 do. It's a frog. And I've got quite a few frog things. So, yeah, I thought I'll have to get that. And I think he lights up. So if you don't want to see lights, then uh, just maybe pause or fast forward this little bit. So let's see. Oh, yeah, he lights up. So if you're a diamond painted in the dark. Oh, look. Oh, that's quite a good uh, spot there. I don't know if it shows up. Let's see if it'll show up on here. Uh, no, it, to be honest, in sort of like real life, that little spot that's... Oh, you can see it a bit more now, look. It does show up quite well. You get like a little spot. So if you're having trouble reading your letter or your number on your canvas, you can use this. But it's also very short as well. Uh, I'll just turn the little light off. So that if you're like me and you're using... Um, a magnifying light then there's not much space usually between my canvas and my light and I find that if I use a full-size pen sometimes I bash the underside of my light so I tend to use a pen that's a little bit shorter I've not had one as short as this before but that's going to be really handy and yeah I mean they're interchangeable uh, the little the little tips as well so they will just do that screw off there is that how we do this let's have a look oh that might be how you get the batteries in and out as well okay sorry i do just like having a bit of a play when i get something new i think that will just pull out there it's a little bit stiff but it wants to be well in and uh, it looks like we've got a three placer that's a six placer and a nine placer so we've got a one a three a six and a nine placer so if you like multi-placing you can still pop these in as well okay you can put your metal tips in that as well i presume as well it is a very very light there's hardly any weight to this at all uh, so i would say that if you have a little bit of dexterity problem this is quite nice to hold although it's square but it's a little bit chunkier so your fingers aren't really really tight together look he's escaping again tell you this frog's determined to be off 
so yeah, that's uh, for 99 pence. That's amazing. <laughs> Let me just put the single one back in for now. And we'll give him a quick measure. It's that smile that got me. It's quite a few different ones of these as well. And the size of him is three and a half inches, which is nine centimetres. And his little face is, yeah, it's going to be about an inch, isn't it? It's an inch, which is about two and a half-ish centimetres. But yeah, he's a real cute, dinky little dude. And the fact that he lights up, I think that's amazing. So, yeah, quite easy to just dot away there if you want in a little bit smaller pen or something. For the person who has everything diamond painting-wise, but they haven't got a little frog. <laughs> So yeah, he's just a little dinky doodah that I added onto my order. You know, I like my quirky bits. Okay, so let's have a look at this, which he was shoving out of the packet to get out. I mean, you all saw that. I took these out and that was just coming out with it. He was determined he was getting out that bag. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at this. Ooh, well and truly packaged. So this is a little compact mirror. Okay, uh, I won't put it towards me. I think one side is magnified and one side is normal. I'm not going to uh, risk showing you my face at the moment. It's very pink because it's very warm in here. So it's a nice, cute little uh, square mirror with rounded off corners and you diamond paint both sides. And it's not too bad a weight considering it's like, um, like a steely type edge. Uh, and it's got the glass in the middle it's not too bad a weight so if you're wanting to carry it around in your handbag your purse whatever then uh, yeah it's uh, a nice little size and these make great presents because uh, who doesn't need a mirror in their bag ladies and gents <laughs> okay it's got some good hinges on it there so they should last quite a long time they're like the metal hinges rather than just plastic so yeah, quite impressed with that. It's a nice little size as well. Let's have a quick measure. So we are a two and three quarter inches roughly square, which is seven centimetres. Yeah, two and three quarter inches, seven centimetres. So it's nice. The depth of it, it looks like it's about a centimetre. Let me just have a look. Yeah, we're about a quarter of an inch-ish just over a centimetre wide so yeah it's uh, lovely and there's quite a few different designs different colours in this one as well I picked blue don't ask me why I picked blue it just called to me I know I'm a pink girl but I did like the blue one so we've got our pen but I'm waxed everything we need to complete our little project and then we have what we've got two four six different gems and colours oh and these look really pretty so we've got a little pale blue there that's like it's more of a grey that's not just a standard silver I think that's got a grey tinge to it then a little bit deeper blue there very nice like a sapphire type blue and that's more of an aqua blue just a few of those and then we've got some teeny tiny teardrops to make up those little flowers those little mandalas on the top uh, and little blue there and then some of the larger just blue uh tea like an acrylic but they haven't got the they haven't got any facets on and they have got an iridescent coating so look at those very pretty yeah they're definitely not just plain silver i think there is like a gray tinge to those mm, very nice like those so just a quick little easy project to do. I do like the fact that you do both sides as well. Uh, if you are giving it as a present, I would seal it as well. Put some good sealer on the top because, you know, mirrors are going to get handled quite a bit. Um, and they will get uh, put in and out of bags probably. So, you know, the, you don't want the gems coming off or moving. If you seal them, then uh, they tend to be a lot uh, they tend to last a lot longer. I mean, to be fair, you could actually put it as like a little stand and put a little, you could put your little frog in the middle, look, <laughs> and have it as like um, a little scene of some kind, uh, you know, and just have it on your mantelpiece or whatever. Uh, or you could even just put little photographs in it and use it as a photograph frame if you didn't want it as a mirror. Very pretty. 
very nice I like that one uh, the price of that is four pounds and 99 pence so again you know for a mirror i think that's a pretty good price just to buy a little uh, compact mirror there very good okay so we'll pop him over there with froggy stay over there mr frog right what shall we look at next let's look at the special drill canvas i do like my special drills you know me <laughs> And when you see it, you'll probably know what it is as well. I'm back on these again. We have three gnomes in a garden with the daisies. <laughs> Couldn't resist. How cute is that? We've got the uh, little basket, look, we've got the little watering can and we've got the little trowel there as well. We've got this one down here look, looking at this huge lady bird on this big daisy here. He's uh, practically got his nose on it. Actually, they're not gnomes, are they? They're gonks. There's no, you can't see their eyes, so they're gonks. And then we've got all these little good butterflies. Oh, look, he's waving. Hello. <laughs> he's interested in this look. Oh, he's got some. Are they bluebells, possibly, that he's got there? With, they look like little buttercups. Um, we've been out uh, to Beverly Westwood. Um, which is like a big field, park, uh, woodland, um, just outside of uh, Hull, at the far side of Hull to where we live. And uh, Millie went for a good tiptoe through the buttercups. So I'll put a little bit of video at the end of this uh, video. For you to see of Millie going through the buttercups. So it's quite strange getting uh, little buttercup type flowers, unless the daisies, there might be daisies. Now, I'm going to say the buttercups because, uh, yeah, we've we've had a buttercup day. <laughs> OK, let's just flatten it down that little bit. Oops. Okay, it is only a partial, so it's only where you see the gems and, uh, sorry, where you see the numbers and letters is where the gems go. None of the backgrounds have got any gems on, so they do tend to uh, do up a lot quicker do your specials but they still look really pretty and effective and that's very very sparkly and I like my sparkle and I just think that's so spring summer like with all the leaves in the background and yeah and a lovely uh, watering can in the middle there as well <laughs> let's give it a quick measure so it's 30 by 40 so let's have a look the actual drill size is 25 centimeters nine and three quarter inches by 35 centimeters 13 and three quarter inches so wonderful little picture that just just made me smile oh he's laid in the plant pot look oh i know what's happened on this look that plant pot's been stood up they've all been stood in black baskets He's in the watering can. He's in the basket. He's been in this. He's seen the lady bed and he's leaned over to see what's happening and it's fallen over and he's ended up nose to nose with it. <laughs> oh dear, sorry. That's just my imagination. I like to make up little stories when I'm going through these because I think they're really fun. <laughs> so, pen boat and wax. Okay. Let's have a look at these gems. Ooh, ooh, very pretty. So we've got a lovely deep red there and an aqua greeny blue and a very deep purple, very pretty. And a honey gold and a yellow gold and a grass green. Oh, and a lot of plain white. So that's probably the beards. Is that number seven? It is. And that's the edges to the daisies as well. Now then, I might put a different colour on the daisies, maybe an AB white, just to make them stand out a little bit more. And then we've got your plain silver. We've got, oh, a very gorgeous blue there, deep blue. And a champagne gold. And then we've got little uh, tiny mark. We've got marquees with an iridescent coating. And then look at those. Oh, they're definitely buttercups. Yeah, I'm calling buttercups on these. I know they're not quite really, but I'm definitely calling buttercups for all those little flowers, those little yellow flowers. 
and uh, when you were younger did you used to put the buttercup under your chin and if your chin went yellow uh, it was supposed to mean that you liked butter <laughs> hubby tried to get me while we were doing it and i said i know what you're trying to do <laughs> but yeah we used to do that i mean of course it reflects with the sun and everything the yellow does reflect under your chin so it just basically meant everybody liked butter but uh, yeah we used to do that as kids <laughs> But that is just star, oh, so cute. Yeah, he's definitely fallen over, hasn't he? He's just leant too far and he's gone bloop. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, hello. Yeah, he's waving. Maybe he's waving for help. <laughs> for his friend. All right, and then the last one is a 30 by 30. And this one was a £3.99. And it's a sunflower, but it's a sunflower, whoops, it's an upside down sunflower with a difference because it's got all the different colours in it. And I just thought this looks so pretty, just different colours. It will be quite stunning. I may, in fact, even change the colours out and put crystals on it because I have got a lot of crystals. See how many colours it's got though. It might have too many colours. Ooh, 20, 20. different colours on this. Mm, so it will be 19 to do the actual sunflower part itself. I might have a go though because I have got a lot of uh, crystals and they are in lots of different shades. So I may be able to do it. I would just have to work out which colours I would do for which and then possibly write them down on here or write them on the packets. But we'll see. I've got to get round to doing it first. <laughs> So we've got our standard tool kit, pen, butt and wax. And oh dear. Oh, it's coming all these lily bags, look. These are my least favourite bags to get. Uh, it is a round, but there's nothing wrong with the, the drills in these bags. And there's nothing wrong with these bags. Other than the fact it does take longer to kit up when they come in the little teeny tiny bags. They're bags of 200 gems. Um... But uh, yeah, I prefer them to come in either the long trains like this um, or to come in the little grip seal bags. But I mean, I say it makes no difference. It's just me being lazy, really, uh, in not wanting to have lots of little bags to open when I kit up. <laughs> okay, now then, that makes me even more think that I might do this as all crystals. Apart from the background, I would still do the background as is. So let's have a look. Oh, look, we've got lots of the background colour. So this is our 310 black. So how many packs of that have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 bags. So that's 14 200. What's that? 2,800 of the little 310 blacks. It doesn't look that much da um, black, actually, does it? It doesn't look to be uh, that much extra black, but uh, I know it's a background, but... There doesn't seem to be that big a background, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> I know what I mean. And then everything else seems to be in like twos and threes and things. We don't seem to have. So it's an awful lot of colour changes. Okay, so we've got a burgundy colour there. And two browns there, deep browns. And then like a chestnutty brown. And slightly caramac chocolate type brown and a beige and a orangey brown okay pop those in and then we have an orange and a slightly deeper shade of orange and then a pink not quite a hot pink but not far off and a red and a rosy pink and we've got a bit of burgundy brownie colour there and a red wine colour okay and then a dark burgundy colour there oh 154 good old 154 has appeared again seems to be fairly standard in a lot of paintings and then we've got a few different greens mm, okay 
so yeah lots of smaller amounts and then just the outside black so actually this would probably be quite uh, a quickish one to do if you do it in colour order rather than section it off just do it a colour at a time I think that will work up quite quickly but it's a very pretty picture let's give it a quick measure I think we'll be a 25 by 25 but we'll have a check so yeah. oh actually it's only a 23 centimeter which is nine inches so it is a little bit smaller picture yeah 23 nine inches so hmm so that's maybe why this maybe it had uh, more of a background originally but i do prefer it with not quite so much black background and I, i'm not very uh, good at doing black backgrounds uh, with my eyesight i tend to find that uh, doing blacks i can never tell which way up they are so i have to do them in really good daylight even with my magnifying glass and my light i have to do them um in daylight i can't do them uh, when they starts getting a little bit darker in the room because i just can't see which way up they are <laughs> I go to look at it the next day and I think, well, that one's upside down and that one's upside down. Uh, but that's just me. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful little haul we've had from FG Normal. Thank you ever so much, FG Normal. Oh, we have had our gorgeous sunflower. With I just liked the idea of all the different colours on it, just to make it that little bit different rather than it being all in golds and yellows. We've got our gorgeous little gnomes and the accident prone one down here. I think that one would be me. We then have our lovely little compact mirror with all its blue colours. And then our little froggy for mm -hmm. these multi places. <laughs> okay, uh, well, a huge thank you, fgnormal.com, for sending me these. Do go and check their website and see all the special offers that they've got on and uh, see if there's any of these that you like as well. Let me know if you buy any of them. Uh, I do like hearing uh, other people's stashes and see what they got. If you have enjoyed looking at this with me, then as always, a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now. Come on then. Keep going. Tiptoe through the bus cups. <laughs> da 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 da, bouncy dog. Bouncy dog. Come on, Sniffy Millie, this way. So what we're saying. You sniffing? What are you sniffing? What are you seeing? Smelling the buttercups and the dandelions. Okay. It's a lovely day for it. <laughs>